All righty, let's get your name slate. Whenever you're ready, go for it. Jake, come in, sit down. All right, four months ago, I started getting messages from a source in the Empire. Claims to be a cipher agent. Now, a factory's in ruins, and here we are. <laughs> I'm starting to think you might be real. I came a long way to find you. If the Empire knew, they won't. We'll take care of that. I got a copy of your personal file. It says you were traumatized on eradication day. 10,000 people died so you could finish a mission. That one made you want to flip? I want to help the Republic win this war. That's all that matters. Why people do things always matters. Jedi say it's the difference between light and dark. Saber, tell the deck another card is in play. Code name, Legget. Dude, so is this is this uh, two characters you're reading or? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what's the what are the two characters in here? Um, Arden Kothi, Koth, Koth. Who knows? What and Star then Wars. <laughs> I know. And then just player. Oh, okay. So. But uh, here, here's you want the situation? Yeah, yeah. Right. The player has come to meet with Arden Kothi, the head of the Republic espionage operation. Cool, Ar I got that. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, keep... Is that uh, his... Yeah, Ar okay. Arden Kothi is in his office and examines the player cautiously. He's not sure he believes that the player wants to defect, but he can't ignore the chance either. Okay, great. I totally got that sense. So brilliant, brilliant job. I love your super, super conversational, super natural... Not supernatural, like... Blah, 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 <laughs> very natural, right? Absolutely love it. Do you have a, a military background? No. Really? Mm -hmm. I got such a sense of like authority, but like now you're like the cowboy head of like, like the rustic <laughs> head of the room. I love it. Okay. It said, it said here to try to be uh, like Tommy Lee Jones and the fugitive. I could kind of hear. Uh, so something in between. But I want to join the rebellion. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. <laughs> Great, brilliant job. I absolutely loved your delivery on this. Thank you. Let's go line by line just to flesh it out a little sure. bit. And again, like going in, knowing nothing about this. I totally got exactly exactly what the directions were asking for. So brilliant job. All right, what's the first line that he says? Uh, four months ago. You want me to just go into it, or do you want just, me to? Just like, yeah. How, yeah, what's the first line? Let's see. Four months ago, I started getting messages from a source in the Empire. Claims to be a cipher agent. Okay, cool. All right, so who are you talking to here? Uh, the player, it's a, a defector from the Empire who's trying to defect. Yeah, okay. Can I hear, I want to hear you kind of, you guys are finally in the, in, alone in your office, doors shut, kind of size them up for a second, and then you, <sighs> big mm -hmm. side of, all right, here's the situation. Four months ago, I got a, and I, even if you want to hear, you kind of sort of like, sitting down at your desk, and sort of like, mm, that's sort of rough and ready, like here's, here's the deal, dude, go for it. <clears throat> Come in. Take a seat. Here's the situation. Four months ago, I started getting messages from a source in the Empire. Claims to be a cipher agent. Good. Oh, I was like, wait, no, I want the rest of the game. <laughs> Good, I love, dude, your delivery's brilliant on this. What's the next line? Now a factory's in ruins and here we are. I'm starting to think you might be real. Okay, so is this all one section that he's talking about? It's, or? it's, it's separate. You want to see yeah, it? Yeah, can I take a look sure. at the script? I just, I don't want to cut it up too yep. much. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. See, Cypher it now. Factories. Cracking a wan smile. See, this is a case of the uh, direction where you get a ton of contacts information. Yeah. So, uh, this game, I've played this scene. Have you really? The player is actually a secret agent from the Empire trying to infiltrate the Republic. Oh! There we go. Well, we don't, we don't know it yet, but you're kind of sizing him up. All right, cool. Um, okay, so for the next line, uh, give me a little sort of a kind of dry amusement, you know? Well, you can even cross your arms. Now it's in ruins, and I'm starting to think you might be real. Go for it. <clears throat> now a factory's in ruins, and here we are. <laughs> I'm starting to think you might be real. So good. Oh, what's the next one? It's the player, and he says, I came a long way to find you. If the Empire knew... 
Okay, and then what does he say? They won't. We'll take care of that. Okay, real authoritative on this. He's, you know, if the Empire knew, and then they won't. Real authoritative. Shut him down. They won't. We'll take care of that. Okay. This next one, do, do one more for me, but you're, you're sort of amused at the fact that he thinks they're going to find out, so you can even crack a little, little chuckle like, <laughs> they won't, right? <laughs> they won't. We'll take care of that. So good. All right, what's the next line? I got a copy of your personnel file. It says you were traumatized on eradication day. But traumatized is in quotation marks. Okay. So let me hear those quotation marks, right? Mm -hmm. And again, this is real business, matter of fact. He's talking about something traumatic, right? But he's military guy, right? So it says you were traumatized on eradication day, right? Mm -hmm. Go for it. I got a copy of your personnel file. It says you were traumatized on eradication day. Dude, I love it. Oh, God, your delivery on this is just so natural. I can, like, see Tommy Lee Jones's face. <laughs> I love it. What's the next one? 10,000 people dead so you could finish a mission. Okay. That what made you flip? That what made you want to flip? Ah, all right. So this one, I want to hear, he's kind of disgusted with it. Like, also, you could finish a mission. Is that what made, like, give me, give me a little, mm -hmm. like, you're, you're kind of disgusted with him. Go mm -hmm. for it. <laughs> 10,000 people dead so you could finish a mission. That one made you want to flip? So good. Next, let's do the same section again. Get a little get a little more caring with it, though, because now it's... So we'll, we get one where he's sort of like, you, you know, you did all of this just so... But now I want to hear a little, little more tender. Sympathy. Yeah, sim that's the word I'm looking for. I swear I was an English major. I swear, <laughs> yeah. A little more sympathy in this one. 10,000 people dead so you could finish a mission. Is that what made you want to flip? So good, dude. You're killing it. All right, what's the next one? It's the player. He okay. says, I want to help the Republic win this war. That's all, that's all that matters. Okay. And then he says, uh, Why people do things always matters. Jedi say it's the difference between light and dark. Okay. So um, the, the, on the back... On the back side of the the description or whatever, I guess there's more direction. It says that this guy, Arden Koth, used to be a Jedi. Oh, so. they gave you so much information. I mean, it's Star Wars, so of course they're going to give you information. Okay, yeah. so I want to hear a little bit of that kind of reminiscing. Jedi say, get a little pensive with it. Go for it. Why, people... <clears throat> Why people do things always matters. Jedi say it's the difference between light and dark. So good. Can you give me a little sort of a, a dry chuckle somewhere in there? Because you're you know, used to be a Jedi. Something happened where you just <laughs> Jedi so, say in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or just wherever feels natural to you. Go for it. Why people do things always matters. <laughs> Jedi say it's the difference between light. And dark. I love it. Ah, oh, what's the next one? Um, he's he's uh, giving an order to somebody named Saber. So he says, Saber, tell the deck another card is in play. Code name, Legate. Okay, real commanding military authority here. Is it Legate or Legate? Legate, let me see. L E G A T E. Is it? Is it Legate? Legate? I don't know. I have no idea. Like it, it's probably like it. Like I played Fallout New Vegas years ago, but I forgot how, that, how it's pronounced. Like, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. Whatever feels uh, ostensibly the like it. Like it. All right, you're good. See, okay. I'm like I don't know. I get it. All right. <laughs> okay, so real commanding military authority on this one. <clears throat> Saber. <clears throat> Saber. Tell the deck another card is in play. Code name. Like it. I love it. Dude, is that it? Is that That's all? Mm -hmm. So brilliantly done, extremely natural, extremely believable, which again, that's where a lot of games are trending nowadays. You still have the games where they want a little something a little more, you know, character outlandish sort of absolutely brilliant job. You've Thank got you. this husky kind of commanding quality to your voice that works beautifully for roles like this. It was so incredibly believable. I was half expecting Tommy Lee Jones <laughs> to pop out of this like 
Hello, guys. <laughs> and I love what you did, too, where it will say, like, you know, Tommy Lee Jones. And that doesn't necessarily mean they want you to do an impression of him, a right. voice match. They're just looking for that sort of gritty, no BS, listen, son sort of quality, which you brought to this role absolutely beautifully. So come on out. I love Thank it. You. This is All perfect. Right. All righty. Okay, who's so, the character in this one? Uh, there's two, detectives Bill and Dan. I was thinking of doing, it says to do, read both in the same voice, but... I wanted to challenge myself. Challenge yourself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's a challenge, regardless. <clears throat> but yeah, go with your gut. Go with your gut. Sure. It's gonna name slate and go for it. Jake. <laughs> What's the matter? Somebody shit in your cornflakes this morning? Yeah, the captain when he put me on babysitting duty. Take that up with the DA, pal. Besides, I can think of a lot worse things than playing cards with the fellas all night. All I'm saying is I got better things to do than babysit with some wise guy stool pigeon. Hey, maybe you'll get lucky and a truckload of wise guys will show up. You really know how to cheer a guy up, you know that? I do what I can. All right. I better head over there. Okay if I get you back tomorrow? Sure. Have fun. It's so good. I love it so much. They were two distinct characters, <laughs> and I was having a ball. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So now, let's add to it. Um, I think it's pretty clear. It says who, what, where. Who? There's two detectives. What? They're talking to each other where in a diner. So this is a case of where you, you get that kind of context that they're looking for. Uh -huh. um, now let's just add a little more, you know, extra noises or something to sort of, like, flesh out the environment. So, like, or the one guy goes... Okay, I gotta go. Maybe maybe you're standing up. I can hear you go, okay, I gotta go. Or, you know, <laughs> what's the matter? You shitting your cornflakes again? Or, you know, like, hey, you, eh, you know, little, little eh, noises or something like that. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Whatever feels natural. You don't want to force it either. So, because okay. then you're going to, it's going to sound forced. But just add, add a little more context um, with your body, with, with, with noises. Make sense? Yeah. Otherwise, flipping perfect. The voices you picked are brilliant. Go for it. Okay. <clears throat> What's the matter? Somebody shitting your cornflakes this morning? Yeah. yeah, the captain, what he put me on babysitting duty. Take that up with the DA, pal. Besides, I can think of a lot worse things than playing cards with the fellas all night. Look, all I'm saying is I got better things to do than babysit with some wise guy stool pigeon. <laughs> Maybe you'll get lucky and a couple of truckloads of wise guys will show up. Hey, you know... You really know how to cheer a guy up, you know that? I do what I can. Ugh. All right, I better head over there. Okay, if I get you back tomorrow? Sure, have fun. Oh my God, so flippin' good. Like, where the hell is Joe Pesci in there? Because I heard him. I know he's in there. He rolls out from the air vent with Tommy Lee Jones, like, hey, what's going on? Dude, so brilliantly good. The little noises you added added so much personality, didn't it? It sounded a little more like settled in the scene, right? And it's, it's a case of, you know, it's hard to do two characters having a rapid fire dialogue while you're doing both of them, right? Because even if you're working with a partner, you want their pacing to be quick. You kind of want to jump the lines. And you were jumping your own lines, which is so hard to do, but you <laughs> nailed it. Thank you. You nailed it. It sounded like two different people in there, and now I'm scared, but in a good way. <laughs> do, how'd that feel? Uh, it felt good. Yeah. Do, and you were getting your, do you see how he got his body into it too? You could, you could, I knew you, like I looked over to see and I could see you making shifts with your body, but I could also hear it. So I didn't even need to look. I was like, oh, he's like shifting his, you know, hey, we're going up here now. And <laughs> so flipping good. If we got time, I think I could run through it one more time quickly Heck and yeah. step on myself even more. I was just going to suggest that. Okay. I was just going to suggest that. Give it to us. Go for it. Right. What's the matter? Somebody shitting your cornflakes this morning? Yeah, the captain said... <laughs> yeah, the, ca the captain, when he put me on babysitting duty. Take that up with the DA, pal. Besides, I can think of a lot worse things than playing cards with the fellas all night. Look, all I'm saying is I got better things to do than babysit some wise guy stool pigeon. Hey, maybe you'll get lucky and a truckload of wise guys will show up. Hey, you, you, you really know how to cheer a guy up, you know that? I do what I can. <sighs> all right. I better head over there. Okay, if I get you back tomorrow. Sure, have fun. Oh my God, who are you? <laughs> so good. Do you know what I loved? I could hear, I'm assuming he's the little guy, right? I could hear the little guy go, all right, I gotta go. Okay, if I could hear him turn around and like say it to 